Welcome back. Squawk Box Zipline making the disruptor list for the second straight year. Julia Borston tells us about the company's work in Africa. A second time CNBC disruptor, Zipline International is expanding its drone delivery services in Africa and will soon be coming to the U.S. The company's drones have made more than 13,000 deliveries since launching in Rwanda three years ago. It supplies more than half of the country's blood supply. In Ghana, Zipline is partnered with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and others to serve more than 2,000 health facilities and bring emergency medical supplies to an estimated 12 million people. And in June, the company will begin servicing hospitals in North Carolina as part of a pilot program with the FAA. I got to tell you, I love this company. Now we want to bring in Zipline CEO Keller Renato, who's uh, joining us this morning, waking up early in San Francisco with an announcement about the company's latest funding which I believe is going to turn them into a unicorn. Good morning to you, Keller. Morning, Andrew. How are you? Uh, great to see you. Uh, congratulations, uh, both on the disruptor list, but also tell, tell us about this new fundraising round. Yeah, I mean, you know, often fundraising is the, the last thing that Zipline's talking about. But, uh, you know, over the last year, we've raised about $190 million from uh, Bailey Gifford, uh, TPG, and Tomasek. Um, and the company actually didn't need to raise money, but we were in a position where basically there is, there are so many countries now wanting to follow the footsteps of Rwanda and Ghana in terms of providing universal access to healthcare for all their citizens um, that it made a lot of sense. And we're basically getting ready to expand into South Asia, Southeast Asia, and the U.S. Uh, and we have plans to be serving about 700 million people in the next three years. So uh, you are going to be uh, expanding into the U.S. for the first time. What does that mean in terms of? Uh, how quickly you think you're, you are able to scale into other parts of the United States? That's a great question. I mean, uh, we're really lucky that the Secretary of Transportation, Elaine Chao, has basically seen what's happening in certain other countries uh, where this technology um, is now operating at national scale and saving thousands or tens of thousands of lives. And um, she and her team are pushing really hard to make sure that the U.S. doesn't fall too far behind here. So. Uh, they've created something called the Integrated Pilot Program, which is making it possible for Zipline to begin operating at a statewide scale in North Carolina, serving a whole bunch of different hospitals and health facilities. And assuming that we can show that we can do that in a way that's safe and really benefits people's health and uh, equalizes access, especially for people who live in rural areas, then we expect to be able to roll that out to every state in the U.S. pretty quickly. Keller, as, as people see the success of what you've created, at not just um, in terms of sort of the remarkable technology involved, but really what it's able to do in terms of saving lives. Is there a competitor out there? Is there anybody else that you think is now going to be, um, you know, trying to do what you're doing? I think, you know, everybody is pretty captivated by the potential of the technology. And so there are a whole bunch of startups out there that are doing different demonstrations and pilots, different use cases, trying to figure out uh, what are the different ways that this technology can benefit people. But uh, today, Zipline is the only company in the world that's operating this kind of technology at national scale. Um, and you know, we're doing hundreds of flights day in and day out in a way that people rely on with their lives, fully integrated with the national health care system. And so it, that really is what differentiates us. And, and, and is, the, is the plan to remain focused strictly on health care? I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I imagine uh, that so many different countries have actually been willing to open their skies to participate in programs with you. It certainly is a much easier conversation with a regulator when every flight is saving a human life. And I mean, to put it into perspective, five and a half million kids die every year due to lack of access to basic medical products. So this is a problem that has to be solved by someone. Um, you know, even if we can be a small part of that, we're proud to do it. And by the way, this is also good business. I mean, healthcare logistics is a 70, $70 billion market, and that's although it only serves the golden right. people, golden billion people on the planet well. Um, if we were actually serving every human on the planet, it would be a, a much bigger market than that. So we actually think this is a really nice intersection of something that's good for the world and good for business. Right. Keller, uh, for those who are uninitiated, and I know you've been on the program before and explained this, but uh, just explain how far these things can fly, how they come back to you, how this whole thing works. The overall idea is really simple. We think that your access to medicine or healthcare should not depend on the GPS coordinates of where you live. 
So the service that Zipline provides is basically an instant delivery service to any person with a smartphone. So you can press a button on a smartphone and immediately receive in 15 to 25 minutes the product that you need or that your patient needs if you're a doctor or nurse. And the way the technology behind all of that that essentially enables us to provide that service, these are small electric airplanes. They fly themselves, so they're fully autonomous, uh, and they're powered by batteries. Uh, so the, the, we operate distribution centers. So for example, to serve all of the country of Rwanda, we use two distribution centers. We're now building four distribution centers. Uh, we just launched the first one in Ghana. Um, we can serve all of North Carolina with about three distribution centers, just to put into perspective. Um, and from those distribution centers, we are basically launching these aircraft. They fly out to where they need to make a delivery at about 110 kilometers an hour and then fly back and land. So it's really, really, the idea is simple. Obviously, the execution from a technology perspective is complicated. Um, what's a cost per flight? Do you do, you do it in a unit economic yeah. basis in that? Is, that? is that the metric? Yeah, so uh, Zipline charges, we, we work directly with governments. We sign contracts directly with governments or operators of hospitals, healthcare systems. And we're typically doing deliveries in a way that is on par with how expensive it would be to do a delivery using a motorcycle, except we're about 10 times as fast and way more reliable.